My name is Khaone Mazal. I'm from Botswana. I'm suffering from rheumatoid arthritis and I've been having this condition for nine years. This is my medical report from Sidilega Hospital in Gaborone, Botswana to confirm that I have rheumatoid arthritis. Why are you crying? That I'm finally here to receive my leave. Let's take a look at our medical report. Here on the screen is this medical report from Sidilega Private Hospital in Botswana. It's a medical report for Mrs. Kaone, Rufiro Mazala. This is why she was referred by Dr. Okedise to have examination done on her left foot because she is, first of all, a known case of rheumatoid arthritis. Now they wanted to check and see what's the problem with this left foot. So they took x-rays and the study showed that she has got narrowing of the first metatarsophalangeal joint. So as per the diagnosis, she has got this narrowing of the first metatarsophalangeal joint with mild adjacent soft tissue swelling. This is what is causing pain in the foot and all together with the association of rheumatoid arthritis, all this is being confirmed and approved by Dr. Kalpana Baska, who examined her. These are now nine years, she has got difficulty in walking, difficulty in bending. You see the way she's limping because of this pain. The chief cornerstone, Jesus Christ, is now rebuilding every part of her joints, putting new life, taking away the pain, the power of the Holy Spirit. For our attention, we bless you. Thanks be to Jesus Christ. She's now, hallelujah, brethren. See what the Lord Jesus has done. She's free, checking herself. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus. together for the Lord Jesus. Sister Masala from Botswana had suffered for nine years due to rheumatoid arthritis. When she received the cornerstone, Jesus Christ, her life was made new. Listen to her testimony. My name is Khao Nerefilo Mazala. I'm from Botswana. The problem which brought me here was rheumatoid arthritis, which started in 2014 after I gave birth to my second born. At first, doctors were telling me that I'll be fine, but unfortunately, I did not get fine. The situation worsened and concentrated more on my lower back and my left foot and I was limping, as you saw from the video. That's how my life was. As a teacher, this has disturbed me in my work because I would take a long time to move from one class to the other, and also I couldn't do my job diligently. When it comes to marking, I'll be very slow because I'll be in pain, I couldn't sit for long, I could even bend maybe to pick some things from the ground. I got to know about the Kakande Ministries from social media, where I saw people with my same situation of rheumatoid arthritis being healed. And I was inspired and motivated to come here to Kakande Ministries. Then on Saturday when I was on the prayer line, the moment the man of God got in here, I felt agitated and emotional. I didn't know what was happening. I just felt like I could just thumb out and go. And when the man of God was praying for me, I could feel some burning sensation around my waist. And I also felt like something was moving out of my waist. After the man of God prayed for me, I felt lighter and the pain that was on my foot, I could no longer feel the pain. That's why I jumped to check whether the pain was still there. People of God, I had difficulty in walking. I was limping, but now look at me. I can walk. I'm not even limping. I 
can even walk faster. I couldn't walk like this. Every time when I was going to class, I walked slowly. But now, look at me. I'm so amazed. Glory yes. to Jesus. <laughs> yes. So, to Batswana at home, Batswana Bagaetu. Arlibe ngo mudimu. Mudimu ke ene se lale bo amaruri. Ke ena ka re thusang gore ra bolla diemo re mo go tsone. Then let me take this time and thank Jesus Christ for healing me. Thank you Jesus for healing me. Thank you Prophet Kakande for praying for me and thank you the Kakande Ministries for the love. Thank you so much. Glory belongs to Jesus Christ. Elizabeth Wanjiro from Kenya. I'm here because of suffering from arthritis for eight years. And this is my medical report from Mata Hospital. Here on the screen, we are looking at this medical report from the Mata Hospital in Kenya from Diagnostic Imaging Department. It's a medical report of Lady Elizabeth Wanjiro. This is where they decided to take x-rays of both her knees because she has been complaining of this pain. And upon examining her, they noted that there's reduction in the joint space, more so than mediotibial femoral spaces. They also noted bilateral sclerosis. This is hardening of the articular margin and they also noted marginal osteophytes. So a combination of all these, they concluded that she has got bilateral osteoarthritis more on the right than the left, as is being confirmed by Dr. Nguku, the radiologist. Brethren, watch the agony. Getting up is so difficult. This is how Sister Elizabeth has suffered with this pain for eight years. Walking is so difficult, she's limping, she cannot Squat, she cannot bend. Time for healing in Jesus' mighty name. The Holy Spirit power has touched her. Be healed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Remember, she came with pain in the knees, pain in the shoulders. Be free in Jesus' name. Rest upon you, you are free. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, brethren. She's amazed. God, I'm healed. God, I can't walk. <laughs> She's now removing these knee braces that she has been wearing for support. The Lord Jesus has taken away her pain. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Jesus, I'm healed. Oh, I... oh Jesus, I'm healed. Hallelujah. Happy <laughs> hands for Jesus Christ. He is a healer. It's a joy of salvation. Thank you, Jesus, for this wonderful healing. My name is Elizabeth Wajiro from Kenya. Mm. I came here yesterday. When I was on my way, I was suffering. I met the lady in the car. I talked to her. Are you going to support me? Are you going to minister of Kakande? Yes, his name is Margaret. Now I'm healed. Okay, let's hear from Miss Margaret. Oh... Yeah. Praise the Lord. I'm Margaret Kamau from Nairobi, Kenya. I met Elizabeth when I boarded modern coach in Nairobi. Immediately I boarded the bus. She greeted me, but I went to another seat. When we reached Busia, I saw her struggling. She asked me, where are you going to Kakande ministry? She helped me and said, I'm going there. I told her, do you know where it is? No. I am the one who told her, don't worry. I also don't know, but I'll help you track. Where I 
slept last night, we went with her. She can't do anything for herself. And she came all the way from Nairobi without anybody Mama, to be her. how long have you been sick? I have suffering for almost eight years. Now you're crying. Listen, all these eight years, why were you not visiting the arena of liberty? Why were you not attending to Jesus Christ? Where were you all these years? Back of knowing this. Why you did not tell it to Jesus? Why you did not contact Jesus? Lack of knowing what how to stay with Jesus. Then why are you crying? Yeah. Jesus should be the one crying because you are not attending to him. Isn't it? You left the cornerstone. You started building your own. And this is the suffering you've got. Why are you crying? My name of God. I'm crying because all my family are going at me. And I'm only the Why did you heart. reject the cornerstone? Why did you abandon the cornerstone? Why you didn't put it at the corner of your house? My name of God. For all these eight years. Matthew 7, 24. Therefore, whoever hears these sayings of mine, and does them, I will liken him to a wise man mm. who built his house on the rock, and the rain descended, mm. the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, mm -hmm. for it was founded on the rock. Mm -hmm. But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them, mm -hmm. I will liken him to a foolish man who built a house on the sand, and the rain descended, mm. the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. So, how did you build your house? All these eight years without the cornerstone. Mama Margaret, look at your friend. Eight years without the cornerstone. Why did you do that? Have you been to Jesus? Jesus for the cleansing blood Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you fully trusting in His grace each hour? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? Are you washed in the blood of the Lamb? See, I'm running in a Lady Elizabeth Wanjiru from Kenya received a special touch of God's power which put an end to all the pain. Listen to her wonderful testimony. Majinalangu Elizabeth from Kenya. My name is Elizabeth Wanjiru. I come from Kenya. Mini Rigonjeka, eight years for arthritis, and Rigonjeka for Miaka, 20 for asthmatic. I've been sick with asthma for 20 years. Also, I've had arthritis for the past eight years. When I got sick, I went to hospital. Aga Khan Hospital. A hospital called Aga Khan. Kayenda Mata Hospital. Another hospital called Mata. arthritis. And they told me that my sickness is arthritis. So I was given medication. This one that I'm holding, this is part of the medicine I was using Uchungu. because of pain. Usiku At night, I used to take this medicine to enable me to sleep. During the day, I used to use this one. Also, I used to use that medicine because of the pain I had. I used to use the inhaler so that I, I am able to sleep. Na hii inhena tumia all the time. Mchana yote. 
Natumia hii. This other inhaler I used to use it all the time during the day. Wakati sana nilisikia mambo ya Kakade Ministry. When I heard about Kakade Ministries. Niliambiliwa na msichana wa dada yangu. I was told by the daughter of my sister. Anikaacha ku watch YouTube. So immediately I started watching YouTube. Eh niliona ila inababaisha sana nikafanya nikuje huku. What saw me that really shook me and propelled me to come here? Eh ilikuwa ya mtu alikuwa wa boxing. Anafanya boxing from South Africa. Is somebody who came from South Africa who was a boxer or is a boxer. Na nikaona hiyo based of Kakande is real. And that's what made me to discover that what is happening at the Kakande Ministries is real. And kakuja huku. So I came here. Nikuja huku Saturday. It was on a Saturday. Nikaombea na mtu wa Mungu. Nikakuja hapa mbele mtu wa Mungu akaniita. Nikasikia kama kitu ilikia kwa macho yangu. Niliingia huku nikaombea na pasta kakande na nikaingia huku hapa ndani mbele nikasikia kama naona macho yake kama naona moto. So I came here and prophet Samuel Kakande prayed for me on Saturday when I looked at his eyes I saw like there was fire. Mimi lala chini. So I went down. Nisikia kitu natoka kwa miguu yangu. I felt something leaving my legs. Mgongo yangu. Leaving my back. Mimi I can naweza nama. Right now I can bend. Naweza tembea hivi. I can even walk. Siku anatembea. Previously I couldn't walk properly. Nilikuwa nafanya kazi yangu kama nimekaa chini. I was also doing my work when I was sitting down. Nimekushukuru Mungu kwa vile ameniponya. I thank God so much for healing me. Na nikashukuru kwa Prophet Kakande. I also thank Prophet Samuel Kakande. Nikuniombea for praying for me. Na hii socks leo nilikuwa natumia ili nitembee. These are compression socks I was given I used to use them to ah, enable me to walk. Tena sasa. Right now I don't need them. I'm very good. Niko niko okay. God bless you. Sasa yeye nasaambia watu wa kwetu Kenya nasaongea kikui na lugha ya kwetu. Adoa wito Kenya. Woko ni kwa ugioka. Wetha Ngai. Ngai ito yuganda ya gutohonia mirimu yothe. Kana yasima, kana tibi, kana muthemba uriku uko ni tukuhonera. Ngai wa mwa murathime. Kenya. The problem that has brought me here is a lumbar spine. I went to hospital and the doctor diagnosed me. This is the letter to confirm that I went to hospital from Nairobi. On the screen is this medical report from Premium X-ray Services in Nairobi, Kenya. It's a radiological report of Mr. George Omondi Odongo. This is where they examined him. They took X-rays and examined his lumbar sacral spine. And they noted that there is reversal of the normal lumbar lordosis. So it was concluded that he has got severe muscle spasms affecting especially the muscles of the lower back. This is being confirmed by Dr. Wanga, the radiologist. These are now five years. Mr. George has got difficulty in walking, difficulty in bending. He has brought his sick situation to the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ, the chief cornerstone has touched him with his power. Come on. That Jesus is delivering his power. Clap your hands for him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Amil. 
I'm delivered. Thank you, man of God, for praying for me. It was tough. How long have you been like that? If I remember well, this thing, the problem, when I was in South 5, I used to have a lot of pain, crying a lot and rolling down. But it came in 2018. Then it got away. But for the past two weeks, hey, this thing came back. On Monday, after my prayers in the church, I went to the bathroom. After my bath, I used to do some exercise. I just had a From there, even walking, I could not even eat anything. Vomiting, lack of breathing, I suffered. I did not know if I could reach Kampala. I thought I was going to die on the road. But now, ah, oh, God has done Jesus. it. Jesus. He has done it. God has done it. When you first saw the program of Kakande Ministry on the phone, I can remember the words you said. I cannot just certain to such people. Yes. You know, your phone, the people with the phone they are watching, and you bent like this, you started watching. Say, who are these? What are you watching, you people? I can remember. You, you can just believe anybody? Yes. That here you want now. Yes. Yes. That's why the man of God, what we are saying too. That was in 2019. I saw the man of God on the phone. I've been watching with my friends. We were fasting and I was telling them, I don't think this is the man of God. But let's stop the washing deal. <laughs> you are doing a very big mistake. You know that I say, this is a mistake? These people, I don't think that this is the true man of God. I said that. I don't think this is a true man of God. But I said, I, I saw him in T.B. Joshua Church. How come if he's not a man of God, he went there? But until last year, T.B. Joshua appeared to me. And I saw him praying for the man of God. And he told me, go, he will pray for you. Back in Kenya. The ministry was doing well, but because I did not believe the man of God, I did not submit. Who told you? I did not believe that is a man of God. And T.B. Joshua directed me to come. Because my ministry is down. It is now chairs. I'm preaching to chairs. Chairs? Yes. The number was around 90, but now people have gone away. I don't have power. Fire has gone. No testimony. I'm just like this. You just think this is a man of God. He is or not. See how the power of God has touched him. Brother, you just think. <laughs> What's brethren? <laughs> hey, prophet, where are you? You are thinking? <laughs> You are thinking? I'm here, my father. Hey. And you are thinking? Hey. So what is happening to this prophet from Kenya? Me too, I want to see if you are a man of God. <laughs> are you, where are you? You are thinking? <laughs> you are thinking from where? Hey, my father. Uh, I did not believe it. Uh, you are thinking from where? Where are you? Yes. Yeah? I'm here. From a distance, watch, brethren, the way this prophet from Kenya is touched. Part of God has touched him. Okay, rise up. Brother George from Kenya was totally transformed after the prayer by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. The following morning, he came back to share his testimony, as you can witness. My name is Prophet George Dongo. I come from Nairobi, Kenya. 
I was sick back in Nairobi. This sickness started when I was just a young man, but it became severe in 2018, August. Even caused me to leave my job. I'm a minister of gospel, so I was just focusing on preaching the word of God. Though some weeks ago, the pain came again and it was too severe that I could not walk well, I could not sleep well, even putting on clothes, going to the urinal problem. I could not attend to my knees very well. To minister the gospel, you cannot. The pain, you cannot stand for long. As a minister of God, you need to stand, you need to pray for people, you need to preach. I could not do that. And so I decided to go to the hospital to check what's the problem. When I went to the hospital, the doctors, they check on me. They examined me and they said that I have got a lumbar spine. So they give me treatment, injection, tablets. I took all the medicines. The pain could not go down. And because I knew Prophet Kakandri ministry, we talked with my wife. He said that I have to get money because I've seen people being healed there. I'm going to Uganda. When I came here, Arika Kande ministry, on that day, Saturday, I met the prophet of God, prophet Samuel Kakande, and he prayed for me. I just find myself waking down. I do not know what happened. But after coming from the ground, oh, I found myself that I'm like a young child. Whatever I could not do, <laughs> Walking. See, brethren, I can walk. I can walk. I could not squat. Look at this. I like to run. I always run when I'm going to morning glory. Now everything is normal. Imagine for five days without going for a long call after my prayer on that day. Straight. Hallelujah. To attend to my needs. I saw the glory of God. Now, I feel the strength. And I know I can do anything. I thank God for healing me. I thank Prophet Samuel Kakande for praying for me. Yes, Unitieka. Nyasaj Prophet Samuel Kakande. Manyasai Maseneno. Manyasai Maseneno. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's give God glory. together for the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Launa Shepaku from Namibia. The problem bring me here is my broken left ankle. This one I have in my hand is my medical report from Wavis by State Hospital. On the screen is this medical report from Wavis Bay State Hospital. That's in Namibia. It's a medical report for Lady Rona Shipahu. This is where she went, and the doctors examined her. Here they're informing us that she suffered trauma and fell from the stairs. 
So upon examining her, they took x-rays and they noted that she got lateral malleolar fracture of the left leg. She got a fracture of the bones of the left ankle. You can see that they applied a back slab. They gave her various treatment. And also at the time she was given crutches. All this under the care of Dr. Shikongo. And if you take a look at her, you can see that she wears this special compression sock to relieve the pain in the ankle. The power of God has touched her brethren. This is healing taking place in Jesus' name. Be healed in Jesus' holy name. Rose up. Jesus Christ has done something new for her. Hallelujah. Brethren, she's free. She's not moving this compression sock. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. I'm delivered. Thank you, Jesus. I'm walking now. I was not able to walk. I'm not jumping. Hallelujah. And I'm not Lady Shipahu from Namibia received an instant healing after the prayer by the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande. The following morning, she came back to testify as you can witness. My name is Rauna Shipahu from Namibia. I come to glorify the goodness of the Lord at the Kakande ministry. That problem brought me here at Kakande Ministry is my left angle was broken in my friend's house when I was come up the stairs and I slept. That was on 15 March this year. I called my cousin come with my, my sister and took me to the hospital. When I, I went to the hospital and they checked for me, the doctor said I broken my ankle and they put me in the cement. This one is the second one when they put me in the cement, but they was put only the cement behind like this, only to protect me when I walk. And second, they took me this one out and they put a new one. When they took a new one, they give me a clutch to use. When I go back to the hospital to take this one out, they said my bone is not together yet. Just go to another doctor. They will give you another boot to wear. That's why they give me this one to wear. I using only two weeks. When I using two weeks, they call me to, to the hospital to bring back. I go back to the hospital. I told them I still having a pain in my ankle. They say, no, just go and buy at pharmacy the socks what you will use, this one. These socks I was using until I come here. When I come here on Saturday, Prophet Kakande prayed for me, and I don't know how I fall down. I saw myself rain down, and I hear Prophet said, Less up, and I, I rest up, and when I stand up, I don't feel any pain in my legs or wherever. <laughs> now I want to thank Prophet Kakande when he prayed for me. I don't using this anymore socks because I'm walking now fast because I was not walking fast like this, and now I. Kneel down, but I was not kneeled down like this. And now I jump, but I was not jumping. And I ran. I was not supposed to run like this. I want to thank you, God, for this ministry and to thank for Prophet Kakande when he prayed for me. And thank you, God. I'm healed and delivered. I want to tell our Namibian people to say, Namibian people, Ileni kuko minister ya kakande mwe mutambe kupithogeni no mumone omambeko okuza kukarunga omuna ewaeko enene ileni tulitikuthiko tueni na jo kona mibia amen and shalom glory be to jesus christ yes, 
Thank you, Lord.